Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share, uh, you could subscribe, you can just do all those beautiful, lovely, magical things that you do to me so well here at Talia's Tarot. So, for those of you who are new, I'm going to be splitting uh, the polarities. On the left-hand side, I'm going to get uh, your energy towards this person that you're here for. On the right-hand side, I'm going to get this person's energy here towards you uh, and then we will go down the center and we will connect the energies and see what connects you both so with that being said i'm going to slap down the holy water we're going to start with pisces side and pisces um energy here towards this person so show me the energy down here uh towards this uh, the person that pisces is here for what is pisces energy towards this person what is Pisces energy towards this person? What is Pisces energy towards this person, please? What is Pisces energy towards this person, please? Sure. Okay. All right. Now let's see this person's energy here towards Pisces. What is this person's energy towards Pisces at this time? Show me this person's energy towards Pisces at this time. What is this person's energy towards Pisces at this time, please? What is this person's energy towards Pisces at this time, please? What is this person's energy towards Pisces at this time, please? Okay. What is this person's energy towards Pisces, please? What is this person's energy towards this person? What is Pisces, this person, <laughs> what is this uh, person's energy towards Pisces at this time? Sure. Okay. Okay, Pisces. All right, Pisces. Okay. I feel like, well, you are having to make a decision here about this person here. Okay. And about relationships in general, all together. Okay. Because it seems like. You have been in a, at least three situations with people who have disappointed you, okay? Uh, you've, you've felt like you've had your heart uh, ripped in multiple pieces here, okay? And I feel like um, things have been going on here to where it wasn't always an equal exchange here. And right now... Um, you're taking a look here at your intuition, okay? And your intuition is screaming at you that you deserve and you are worth to somebody here who wants to be serious about you. And I feel like you've made a decision here that you're only accepting solid offers right now at this time because honestly, you're getting a lot of attention from people here who are interested in something serious with you here. And I feel like you have had a realization here that you've been feeling stuck. Uh, this person could be toxic here, and you might feel like the this person ever wanted was to have a good old time when you were trying to be serious about starting something new. Okay? And I feel like you've been very confused. Very much so. But the more you've set in this confused energy the more it has allowed for your thought process to flow freely here. And you realize all you want is a relationship here. Somebody who's going to be reciprocal here. And I feel like you're leaning here towards some kind of clarity here, okay? And I feel like you have some new energy here that is coming towards you very quickly, somebody who is of a high caliber who is connected to their heart space here. And right now, Pisces, you're putting down the loads here, all the heavy burdens here. You're walking away from it. It's just passion. You don't want it, okay? 
you're wanting forward movement and you are definitely holding on tight to the idea that you're going to have your forever person here, Pisces. Okay. Oh boy, Pisces. So let's go ahead and clarify this tower here. So what's this tower that Pisces is having about this person right now? What's this tower moment that Pisces is having about this person right now? What's this tower moment that Pisces is having about this person right now? What's this tower moment? Okay. All right. All right, Pisces. Okay. It seems like right now, all right, you're having to make a decision here about this person. I feel like right now, you know, if anything, you're ready just to move on here from this energy because you're loving yourself right now, Pisces, okay? You're looking good. You're getting recognized. There's other soulmate connections coming towards you right now. I feel like you've been kind of isolated and trying to mend your beautiful broken heart here, okay? But you're worried here that this past person here is going to reignite the fire here, all right, which is going to make you feel conflicted. But you've been hoping here that they would get clear here on exactly what it is that they want. You want this person to step up, all right, and you basically here are tired of feeling stuck. You're just trying to liberate yourself to try to find your balance, You've been nurturing yourself here, and Pisces, I feel like you're waiting here for your manifestation here uh, to come through. You've been manifesting some kind of uh, information here that's going to allow for something to end so something fiery can come up, okay, back into your life right now. And Pisces, I feel like you've been um, using your intuition, okay? You've been using your intuition to pull you out of this submerged energy that you've been in. And right now, if this person comes back to you, I feel like you're just turning your head here at that person here because you're looking for growth here in a relationship. You're very much connected to your heart right now, Pisces. So what is this judgment energy here towards this person that Pisces is dealing with? What is this judgment energy... Sure. Show me this judgment energy to, towards this person that Pisces is dealing with at this time. Okay. You're trying to make a decision here, okay? You're trying to overcome this situation right now, okay? And basically, you realize that you can stay stuck and feel abandoned here. Or you could go on to something new. So I feel like that's what you're trying to do right now. You're like, should I just stay stuck waiting around for this person, wondering when they're going to text me, wondering when they're going to tell me what I want to know, because it seems like it is not happening here. Or do I just move on to something here? And I feel like you're honestly excited to move on to something else right now because you're at the point where you're feeling goddamn good and you're just not wanting to stay stuck here. So why is this uh, why is Pisces got this King of Pentacles energy towards this person, please? Why is Pisces got this King of Pentacles energy towards this person here? Yep. This is you being very serious here. Okay. You're wanting somebody to be loyal. That's all you want here. You're wanting somebody here. You're, you're wanting this person here to be loyal, all right? And to fight for this connection here. This is what you're wanting from this person right now. You're wanting them to be loyal and to fight for this connection. So your person here has the emperor. You have the emperor here too, okay? Um, and right now, I feel like, I almost feel like this person's starting to get some kind of enlightenment here on what direction to go because this person has been very stubborn here and there's been a lot of disappointment here when it comes to success in love here okay 
because basically this person here um, has basically been unable to make any kind of decision here, okay? But all of a sudden, they've had a tower moment here about pleasure-seeking here, okay? And what pleasure-seeking gets them here, all right? And it seems like pleasure-seeking always is a, a, a completion energy for this person. And they've been oppressing here um, the fact that, like, they want to get deeper into this connection here. <clears throat> and I feel like this person right now is letting go of their fears here, their insecurities here, and they want peace with you here because this person has felt absolutely defeated here, that they've ruined something here that they hoped for because they were trying to be virtuous here when they approached you here, and basically it's caused them nothing but uh, futility here, problems, all right? And I feel like this person here has been maybe possibly studying tarot here, all right? I feel like they've been studying tarot because they've been wanting a change here. Um, and they feel like the timing was always wrong and this was always cruel here. But ultimately, you always made this person very happy, feel very abundant here. And I feel like they're wanting to send you an abundant message here of love here. And work towards something here uh, when it comes to... Their stability here after a period here of taking a break and walking away and realizing that they actually have a lot of deep emotions here and this has caused them a lot of strife but they're overcoming here um, the dark times here and I feel like this person's getting clear on what they're wanting here and they aren't wanting the sorrow here has been killing this person and they know they need to make a decision here to call a truce here because this person uh the overindulgence energy was always a gain for this person and now they've separated themselves from that energy here and they're wanting more of a luxurious love here okay somebody who's clear somebody who's swift after many failures here when it comes to relationships and i feel like right now this person here um, is worried here that you might just end this here and this is going to cause a lot of interference for this person's deep emotions that they have for you because this person's wanting to offer you something here that is going to make you very happy here. So what is this, uh, what's this emperor energy for the, the why is Pi this Pisces person, why do they have this emperor, emperor energy for Pisces? Why do they have this emperor energy towards Pisces here? Why do they have this emperor energy towards Pisces? Okay. So if you guys have not been talking, okay, what this is telling me is that this person here um, is, has tried to separate themselves from their fears of, of their subconscious mind here, okay? Because they're trying to find hope here. Um, and I feel like there's something here about timing here. Okay? There's something here about timing. And they feel like with the right timing, they're going to have success. Mm, excuse me. i got to get some holy water. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, so right now, this person here, if you guys are not talking, it's because this person here is trying to get over their fears here, okay? And I feel like in time, this person is definitely going to reach out here um, and communicate after a period of silence here. And I feel like there's a lot of sorrow here that is attached to this energy here of not reaching out to you. So why has this person uh, got all this disappointment here in this situation? Why do they have all this disappointment here? Five of Cups energy. Why the Five of Cups, please? Why the Five of Cups? Why are they feeling this Five of Cups towards Pisces here? What are they disappointed about here? Yeah. It's just like this energy here of 
I didn't find out enough information, okay, in order to start something here with Pisces here. I was hoping to get some information here, but all I've gotten was nothing. I've come up short here, and they've been researching here, okay, because they're wanting to change here in their life. They feel like it's time, time for this person to have an abundance of happiness, to be able to work, you know, towards you know, having more determination and being more reliable when it comes to showing up in love. And I feel like right now this person is uh, thinking about how balanced here that this connection actually is, okay? And they feel like they could have su successful love here with you at the end of the day. So why does this person got the chariot energy towards Pisces right now? Why the chariot here towards Pisces? Why the chariot? Why is their energy the chariot? Why is their energy the chariot here? Why is their energy? Why is their energy the chariot? Okay. Okay. They know what direction they're going. Okay. And it seems like this person, it's they're coming to you. Okay, because they want to have a conversation here and meet you eye to eye here. All right. They don't want to be stubborn anymore. And I feel like this person knows that they kind of, they left you high and dry here. All right. And I feel like right now this person here um, is going to own up to why they left you high and dry. And I feel like this person um, is really, they feel... There's an enlightened energy here when it comes to approaching you here, okay? All right, I'm going to grab a different deck, and we are going to... We're going to see what connects Pisces in this person here. Three cards for what connects Pisces in this person. Three cards for what connects Pisces in this person, please. Three cards. Three cards for what connects Pisces in this person here. All right, we've got the fool here. So it's like uh, you both ha share this energy of, like, look, can we just do this already? And you guys are both wanting to end something here, and there's this energy here of something picking back up. So what's going on with the fool energy here on Pisces side? Fool energy on Pisces side? You feel a strong soulmate connection to them. What's the fool energy on their side? What's the fool energy on their side? Wow. And they're manifesting this. Wow. Haha. <laughs> That's powerful. You're ready. They're manifesting here. Okay. So what's this Ten Swords on Pisces side, please? Ten Swords on Pisces side. What's the Ten Swords on Pisces side, please? Ten Swords on Pisces side. What's the Ten Swords on Pisces side? What's the Ten Swords on Pisces side? Okay. What's the Ten Swords on their side? You're like, this is non... You're saying this is nonsense. We need to just go forward here. Can we just do this? And on their, in, their, on their side here, okay, uh, it's like they want to end this secrecy that they have about this connection here. This is what's coming through here. They don't want this to be secrecy anymore, this connection. And you're like ready. You're like, let's go already. So what's this page of wands on Pisces side here? Page of wands on Pisces side. You're being patient for this opportunity. Page of wands on their side. 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 Yep. And they're wanting balance. So you're... You both are kind of holding the uh, energy here. Okay? You guys are both ready to start this up. You're being patient here. Okay? And they're seeing this as uh, balance. Let's start something new. Let's get it together here. And start something here. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Alright. Um... 
Is there anything that this person would like to tell Pisces at this time? Anything that this person would like to tell Pisces at this time, please? Anything that this person would like to tell Pisces at this time? Okay. This person feels like you guys would, that your energies work well together. This is what this person would like to tell you. So, Pisces, I hope this helped. Please let me know if you enjoyed this style of reading. And as always, I love you so much. Tarot's adjourned.